So YouTube, Zidane4289 here yet again with another Black Ops commentary. This time we're on a map known as Grid. This is another one of my favorite maps between Summit and Fire Range. Like, we love this map for some odd reason. This is a good map. Anyway, the reason why I'm posting this commentary is because it's the first flawless that I've ever done in Black Ops history. Well, Call of Duty history, actually. So I was pretty proud of that. When I started the match, I said, okay, I'm be really careful, pay attention to my surroundings, make sure no one sees me. Try to be a ninja about it, as I mentioned in my last That's video. My I'm like a ninja, I tend to sneak in and just murder people. Or they just stand there like that guy did. So, I'm like, okay, I'm at two kills. See this guy running across, he didn't suspect me. So, killed him. Then I found a commando on the ground. I'm like, sweet, commando, favorite gun. Love this gun. As you all know, I used to commando a lot in my previous vids. Uh, it's an easy gun to use. Fairly simple. It's better than Thomas in my opinion, but it just takes forever to get. So if I find a commando on the ground, and then they'll be using it anyway. So I checked out the mini map when Spy Plane was up. And I know there's a bunch of people around the corner. So I killed that guy. I'm like, alright, I got a care package. I'm going to save that for a little while. Let's see if I can get two more and get my chopper, well, not my chopper gun, my attack helicopter. So, I went in here, got a Claymore kill, thumbs up for that. And, I noticed like somebody was about to come up the stairs, but they didn't come up for some reason. So, I noticed we're getting shot from across the way. I said, okay, they're obviously camping across the way here. And... I saw my teammate get shot, but my other teammate took care of him. So this guy comes in and he's like, hey, what's up guys? We're like, no, no, sorry, get out. Then this guy comes up the steps and he takes his time for a minute. I think he was using the bathroom. So got my Cobra, call in. Now if my teammate was an enemy, I would have died right there. I would have cried, but good thing he was a teammate. So, uh, monitoring the surroundings, doing my usual thing, scouting the edge of the map. See this guy, he's he's dead. He's too easy. I noticed I was getting shot from across the way, so I ran in here. I noticed there were no campers here, so I'm like, alright, well, normally there are people here, but this time there isn't. And my teammate tried to knife me. He scared me, but, again, good thing he wasn't an enemy. So my tech helicopter did his job and Five got me a couple of kills. So I said, okay. My teammate put up a spy brain. Let me let me see let me see who else I can find. Let me see what's going on around here. I backed up from that Claymore because I didn't see it that it was a team Claymore at first. I thought it was enemy Claymore. So I said, Alright, well got my Huey. I'm going to See if I can get a couple more kills. Because even though people normally get Hueys and use them automatically, I like to try to go out and get a few more kills first. That way, if I die, at least I can start building up my kill streaks again. So I was like, alright, well, let me go in here and try and figure out a place to hide, use my Huey. So I said, like, alright, well, let me go into authors. So I said, alright, nobody's coming up. Time to use my Huey. And cue the Huey music. Okay, that didn't go so well. I was expecting it to last a little longer than that, but uh, obviously they had different plans. So I said, okay, well, I can't stay here because then I'll be camping, but I don't like to call it camping. Like, right, in the words of Chris Smooth, I'm not camping, I'm winning. I'm pretty much going through your team, decimating people, and your team doesn't like it. And I'm not being cocky either. I'm just telling it how it is. But, you know, 
That's how we are. That's how me and Batosai are. So, see this guy. I'm like, alright, well, you're obviously shooting in the air for no reason. Run up the steps. See that guy. So, after a while, it just started becoming a little too easy. I'm like, alright, well, obviously, no one's going to kill me. So, let me scout around a little bit more. Then after I said that, I started getting scared. I'm like, all right, well, if I call it this care package, they're all going to run towards me. So I dropped the care package, run around here, because normally people run through here if they, you know, see or hear a care package, because they're trying to get around and sneak up behind people. And I noticed there was another chopper gunner. So I said, all right, well, got another chopper gunner, no big deal. I'm just running here, high, use it real quick. So I called in this chopper gun in this time. No, I'm not going to use the music this time because I tried to use the music the first time and I pretty much failed. But, uh. This one was pretty easy to do. They didn't shoot it down. It was the end of the match, that's why. But overall, it was a great game. The score was 7,500 to 1,800. Can you spell domination? I, I'm not going to have y'all spell it at all. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I went 26 and 0. I had a great time. And don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Later.